So most of you probably have either a Windows or Apple computer or notebook. But there is actually a way to install macOS 10 on a home built PC. And that's called a Hackintosh. So if I got you excited now and you wanna install OS 10 right away, I have to disappoint you, as it isn't that easy as just installing the operating system like it was Windows. So the way you normally get macOS 10 is by buying some sort of Apple PC or notebook. Then OS 10 is already pre-installed and you don't have to worry about anything. So Apple doesn't have any interest in DIY PC builders using their software. And that's why they haven't optimized it for normal hardware and just for the specific hardware that is used in Macs. Now the clever one of you probably have already noticed the problem here, as we generally don't use the same hardware as Apple does. So there are compatibility issues. This is the reason why building a Hackintosh is so complicated. Also, building a Hackintosh is technically illegal, but Apple isn't doing anything about it, so you don't have to worry about that. And luckily, you aren't the only one that is interested in Hackintosh computers, as there is a huge community around building Macintosh computers by on your own. There are lots of great forums and I have some of them linked down in the description for you to check out. On these forums you can find everything you need to know to build your own Hackintosh. And that's where I learned how to build one. If you now still want to build a Hackintosh and you are willing to invest many many hours of work and troubleshooting and also frustration, you first have to watch your hardware. If you want any big chance of success, you should choose a hardware configuration where there are multiple articles of people that successfully installed OS X on it. Also if you want a particularly easy way, you should choose hardware or at least similar hardware that Apple is using in their Mac Pro or iMac PCs as well. But as they aren't using the latest and greatest, most of you probably will have different hardware. But that's okay, as most platforms nowadays have fixes so that you can use them. Even on X99, like the PC behind me, I got it working. Another important thing is that you have access to a Mac to install it. Now you probably don't have a Mac if you want to build a Hackintosh, so you will have to ask your friends if you can borrow one, as it is almost impossible to do it without one. Now if you have all of that you can start with the installation process, but that's a topic for another video as it is quite complicated. So I hope you now know a bit more about Hackintosh and you know if you might want to try it. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like down below and also consider subscribing. I also have social media accounts that are linked down in the description. Thanks for watching and until next time.